Okay. So like I said, we're launching what we call November to Remember, okay? November to Remember. And um, like I said, even those who are just joining the business, those who just finished from incubator, those who just joined the business this week can actually be part of it, okay? And um, it's starting from today, 1st of November, up until the 30th of November, 30 days. And I'm going to explain what it's all about. Now, it's basically doing what we normally do, but this time there's going to be a, a reward to it and also multiplying our efforts, okay? Multiplying our efforts and awarding those who do well, okay? November to remember, and I know some of us are already excited um, about the title and none of that. Now, what we are going to do is more like a giveaway, but like I said, it's for teammates, just purely teammates, and for those who are joining us this month, okay? So now what do you need to do? Very simple, Wealth Connector. You know, this year, our whole theme, everything we are doing this year is centered around Wealth Connector, Wealth Connector, Wealth Connector, okay? And I know that we have some brand new people who are here, so I'm going to explain what does being a Wealth Connector mean, okay? Simply generating 36 codes in one month. Why is that? Now, for those of you who are new, our goal for the year, our goal for 2021 is raising millionaires, no excuses. That's the goal. The goal for year 2021 is what? Raising millionaires, no excuses. And our president of La Buena Vida came up with a very simple um, formula. And the formula is, as you're running the business, you have five legs. Once you have five legs, you generate 36, 36, 36, 36, 36 codes each. You, on your own, you have become a two-comma I mean, a monthly millionaire. You have five legs and each of the legs generates 36, 36, 36 could be. You're going to earn 1 million, 8,000 naira. 1 million, 8,000, okay? So that is it. So what do you do? If you're here, you're new or you, you just joined three months ago, two months ago, your headache is not, ah, how do I get five legs that have been 36, 36? No, your own is just me or me and my team. How do we generate at least 36 codes this month, okay? Once you start to become a wealth connector and with time, I'm going to show you what you stand to gain, okay? Number two is what Ruby Wealth Connector. What does that mean? At this point, you've gone higher. You have two legs, one on the left, one on the right. One side doing 36 codes, the second time side doing what? Another 36 codes. That's what we call Ruby Wealth Connector, okay? Okay, and then we have Diamond Wealth Connector. We have two comma clubs and all of that. So our challenge and whatever we're doing this month is gonna revolve around Wealth Connector because our goal is I want to raise more people who will be monthly millionaires before this year runs out. And thank God we have two full months to do that, okay? So now, what are you going to do? What is 36 codes? One code, let me not confuse you. A code is an account. Somebody pays for three accounts under you, 134,000. The person has paid for three codes. Are you following? Somebody pays for 15 accounts under you, the person has paid for 15 codes. Somebody pays for two accounts under you, the person has paid for two codes, like that, like that, like that. That's what it simply means, okay? So now, what can we generate? How, how do we generate 36 codes? Very simple. 36 codes can be three people with 15, 15, 15 accounts, okay? If I once you do that, you won't got more than 36, you got it 45, okay? But we're going to use that principle. Or it can be two people with 15 accounts and then one extra person with six accounts. Once you do that, bam. That's why some people will hit wealth connector by registering just three people. One with three, one with 15, uh, sorry, one with six accounts and two with 15 accounts and then we're good to go, okay? It can be five people with seven accounts and then one person with what? One extra account. Five people with seven accounts will give us 35 accounts, which is 35 codes. And then to balance it up, one more person with one account, simple, okay? It can be 12 people with three accounts. So that when you see 36 codes, you not say, ah, 36 people, no. It can be 12 people with three, three accounts and we are good to go. Do you understand? It can even be 18 people with two, two accounts. Okay? 18 people with two accounts and finally 36 people with one account. For me, just choose one of these categories that you want to run. Some of you are going to be looking at doing a uh, wealth connector. Some of you are going to be looking at doing Ruby wealth connector. Some of you are going to be looking at doing at least three people doing 36 codes and all of that. Okay? But these are the simple criteria. And these are things we've said over and over and over and over again until it sinks in, until we master it and this everything that we're doing, okay? Now, what is the November to Remember Cash Challenge about? What do you stand to gain? You generate 36 codes. Those of you who have been doing it, obviously, you know you're going to make, obviously, a lot of money from the business because you have 36 codes that are matching you. Some, some of you to match you once, some of you to match you twice, some of you to match you three, four, five times, okay? But apart from that, apart from the money you're going to make by doing this challenge, what are you going to do? We are going to add a little cash incentive on top of it. 
the higher you go, the more cash you're going to get. Why? Because first of all, I was saying, no, oh, let's do gifts like maybe phones and you know, bag of rice. I know my uh, my leader said, no, boss, cash. That cash is better. Cash is king. That people will prefer cash. Don't do any gifts. Just do cash. I say, okay, oh, if you guys think so, that's fine. Okay, so we all came together and said, okay, let's do a cash challenge. Okay, so what happens? The first level, level one, is what generate 36 codes and get 50k. That's it. 36 codes in your team get 50k. And uh, like I said, as I go on in this meeting, I'm going to be explaining exactly what you need to do, how you need to do it. Okay, and then the modules of branding, the terms and conditions, what you need to follow to get it. Very simple. You generate 36 codes in your team. You and your, your team may generate 36 codes. Apart from money you're going to make from the codes, you're going to get a bonus of 50K from us, from the wealth creator leaders. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. Uh, let me see. I know some of us are already getting excited about it. But that is just the first level. That's just the first one. We still have uh, other levels to go. The second thing is what? Generate 72 codes and get what? 100,000. So what is 72 codes? Very simple. Left-hand side and right-hand side, okay? So somebody on your left, somebody on your right. You do 36 codes on the left, 36 codes on the right, you get 100K cash. And this is not from Alliance Emotion Global or from La Buena Vida, no. This is from the leadership of the Wealth Creators team, okay? So we're just doing it. No, that team is doing it. We're just doing it, you know, to get you guys excited, make you happy and give you something extra for the year, okay? So get excited about it, okay? So some two codes, and this is also Ruby Wealth Connect. Some two codes, you get an extra 100K minus the money you're going to make. Number three, generate 108 codes, you get 150K. Ah, Ambassador, what is 108 codes? 108 codes is 36, 36, 36. That's simply what 108 codes means. 36, 36, 36. That is what 108 codes means, okay? You do 36, 36, 36. You've done 108 codes and you get um 150,000 naira. I know some of us are getting really excited already. <laughs> you know, 36 because some of you have been doing it and you're making money from the business, but we are giving an extra incentive to you. The fourth thing, like I said, 144 codes and you get 200,000 naira. Even me, I want to be part of this challenge. <laughs> I'm looking for who will give me this money. Okay. 144 codes is 200k. Someone said, I'm possibly 144 codes. 36, 36, 36, 36, 36 in four places. Okay? 36 codes in four places will give you what? 200,000 naira. 36 codes in four places will give you what? 200,000 naira. Okay? And the final one is what? 180 codes will give you 250k. What is 180 codes? 36 times 5. 36 in five legs, okay? 36 here, 36 here, 36 here, 36 here, 36 here, and 36 here. That will give you 250 codes, okay? So you have five legs, and each of the legs are doing 36, 36, 36 codes each. What happens? You are going to earn 1 million naira from Alliance Emotion Global from the business, 1 million, 8,000. And then in addition to the 1 million you earn, you will be giving 250K from the wealth creators leaders, okay? I know that's amazing. You do 144 codes, four legs that do 36, 36, 36 codes. What happens to you? You get 200,000 naira. This is minus the money you get from Alliance Emotion Global. You get at least 800k from Alliance Emotion Global by doing this 144 codes given to you. But guess what? Apart from the money you get from Alliance Emotion Global, you are going to also earn 800k from the business. I mean, yes, 800k from the business and then 200k from us. All together, you earn at least a million naira. Okay? You do 108 codes. You, the wealth creator leader is going to give you 100. You, can, you guys can screenshot it. Screenshot this page. So you don't come and ask me, boss, how many, how much? No, screenshot it now, please. Okay, good. 150K, you're going to get once you do 108 codes. Three of your legs doing 36, 36, 36 codes. You get 150K. Very, very exciting for you. Guess what? You do this, you're going to make money from the business. At least you make about 600K or half a million from the business. In addition to that, wealth creator leaders will still give you 150K to enjoy yourself this year. And then you do 72 codes, what happens to you? Left 36, right 36, what happens to you? You're going to earn at least 300K from the business. But guess what? In addition to that, you're going to get 100K from the team. And finally, like I said, you do 36 codes and you get 50K. Please, even if you don't do anything, eh? everybody here, make sure you do at least 36. Even if you don't do anything, try and do at least 36. Okay? Now, the beauty is that it is not you alone, it's you and your team. 
you're working with your team, you're working with your people. It's not just you alone. Okay? It's not just you alone. You just sit down. But if you don't have teammates, you don't have anybody on that, you then fine. Okay? This is a very good month to run the business because, you know, you generate 36 codes under you. And, and I already explained to you. Let me show you again. What? How do you do 36 codes? Very simple. Okay? It can be three people joining you with 15, 15 accounts. Maybe they have 15 accounts. You have friends that can do 15, 15 accounts. Get them to join a business with 15 accounts. Finish. Invite them and all of that. Are you following? Now, what happens to you next? It can be five people with seven, seven accounts. Okay? On any even back up, even the 15 accounts, I said, three people with 15 accounts, or two people with 15 accounts and then one with six accounts. Number two, five people with seven accounts and one with one account. 12 people with three accounts. 18 people with two accounts and finally 36 with one account. Okay? So that's what you need to do. And this is the promo you're going to get. Okay? Now, why is it so important? Why is this so important for you to do? Very few, so some reasons. Number one, you make money monthly. Once you do this, you will build a momentum in your team. Are you following? Once you do this challenge, a momentum is going to be built in your team. Very, very simple. And people are going to get excited. You're going to make money like I just explained to you. Okay? You make a lot of money. The lowest you make is at least 150K. Okay? From the business. You put 36 codes, pay, pay you two times, pay you three times. You know what to come happen to you. Okay? So you're going to make money monthly. You do it this month. Those who you who have joined the business from your 36 code challenge, by next month, December, you're getting them to do their own 36, 36 code. So it will help you start making money monthly fast. Number two, your teammates under you will make money monthly too, which is very important. Are you following? So you're doing this challenge for yourself and your team. The beauty is that if you do Ruby Connector, you do 72 codes, your teammates under you are making money. You do 108 codes, for example, your teammates on that, you are making money. You do whatever it is. So that way, everybody's going around, okay? And it builds a momentum as well. Number three, you would easily become a monthly millionaire. Why is that? We obviously know that Wealth Connector is a road. Wealth Connector is a path to become a monthly millionaire. That is our goal, okay? So you do this, it means that you are one step away. You do, let's say, for example, you do 36 codes this month, Okay? You make your money from the business. You get a bonus of 50K from us. Guess what? By the following month, you get your two people to do 36, 36. What happens to you? You make more money. You're excited. By January, what happens to you? You get three legs to do 36, 36, 36. And before you know it, Jan end of January or by February, you've already made your first one million naira in the business. If you've not made one million naira yet. Do we understand? For those of you who have said, oh, I've already said anything one million naira from the business. This is also fantastic for, me, for you. Why is that? Because you can increase your income. By helping the people in your team to do, you, you've done 36, oh yeah, go oh, and do 72, you cannot do 36 again, you, 72. Guess what, your income will move from one to two, just like that. So this is so important, guys. Okay, number four is what? Recognition and respect in the team. Recognition and respect. We're going to get to the point where if you're not 36 codes active, so we are just looking at you like, what are you doing? How far? Are you not on the moving train? Okay. A whole 30 days has passed. You've not done up 36 codes. So maybe you came to see you're a speculator. Or you just came to see what other people are doing. You're just watching. Are you following? Recognition. We're going to recognize you. Very, very important. Okay? And then those who hit this challenge and all of that, by our awards in December, they'll also be recognized and all that. Respected in the team. Oh, I'm a wealth connector. I've been a wealth connector for the past three months. I've been a Ruby wealth connector for the past three months. I'm a diamond wealth connector. You'll be recognized in the team and it's so exciting. Okay? And you will end the year richer. Is number five for me. Okay, <laughs> you will end the year richer. You see, it's so it's so exciting. Okay, I mean, someone says they cannot hear. Tell them what to do. It's so 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 exciting that you're doing the business, doing what you need to do for yourself. And apart from money, you're going to make you're going to make extra money for the team. So you're going to end the year richer. Some of you have plans this Christmas. You want to travel. With your family, you've been thinking, ah, uh, what do I do? How do I travel? Oh, my son is already asking me, Daddy, you said you buy me bicycle in December. Oh, December is coming. <laughs> you know, so we that have children, you you from beginning of the year, you've been promising your children, Junior, don't worry. December, I'll buy you that bicycle. No, 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 Mama, don't worry. I don't want to calm down. Once it is December, I will carry you to this Disneyland. Just come first in class. From your kids have been coming first since. You tell them, just come first or second or third. I will do this, I will do that. They have been coming first, second, third. Now, December, they are looking at you. Mommy, how far? 
Daddy, how far? What's up? Guess what? The answer to that what's up is in this challenge. I follow it is actually in this challenge. Okay? So I want you to get excited about it. So what do you need to do? If you've not been writing, this is a very good place to write. What do you need to do? Number one, the first thing is what? Analyze your business so far. Analyze your business so far. This is so, 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 so important, guys. Okay? What have I done so far? What's been going on in my business? Okay, ah, I joined the business in September. Oh, what is happening? All together, I've only done like 20 codes. Ah, is something wrong with me? Am I all right? Oh, but I've been, oh, somebody used to say, okay, I've been doing 36, 36 codes. But how come I've not entered 72? Oh, I've done 36 codes, 36 codes. I did 50, I did 60. I want to enter 72 codes. What do I, analyze your business. What has been happening? Do I have issues? Do a SWOT analysis. And this is so important. Obviously, we all know what SWOT analysis is, but for those of you who don't know, SWOT is S stands for strength, W stands for weakness, O stands for opportunity, T stands for threat. Are you following? So what are my strengths? Okay, maybe you, you can share questionnaires for Africa. You can send recommendation SMS. You meet somebody today, by tomorrow, you're sending them, I recommend you to an NGO or a you are already recommending them. You can prospect for United Nations. That may be your strength, for example. But some of you say, well, my strength is follow up. Ah, once somebody attends a presentation, I will follow them up for, I can follow up somebody for 10 years. That may be your strength. I will follow him up. I know his daughter's birthday. I know his wife's uh, birthday. I know the anniversary. I'm following him up. I follow the person up for eight months and now they have paid. I can follow up anybody. The person came and said they'll never join, but me, I am a follow up. I follow them up and now they join. That may be your strength. You may say, me, oh, I can present for United Nations. You see this, my booklet. Every day I present, I, I at least five people must be business through me. I can present, oh, and I will do closer. Some of you, your own is to do closer. Once somebody presents, call me, I will do closer and get, I'll get money out of the pocket. Okay? I can do closer. I can do one-on-one -on -one presentations. Me, I just need paper and pen. I don't need slides. Just give me paper and pen. Anybody I need, I will just draw the business for them. Pa, 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 before you know it, they are paid. That may be your strength. You may say, okay, my own is, I know how to motivate my team. I know how to do this. Whatever your strength is, write it down. Analyze your bill. What have I done? What has been very easy for me to do? And I don't even think about it. Also, analyze your weaknesses. Your weakness may be, ah, I don't know how to prospect. I don't know how to share questions. I don't know how to share flyers. It may be, oh, I get shy of sending text messages to people. Okay? I'd rather just see them and explain the business to them fully. I'd rather just send them a link. I don't want to recommend. I want to just send them a link. What, what, what's your weakness? It may be, oh, my weakness may be follow up. Oh, I, mean, I don't like following up. I can invite the whole world, though, but when it comes to follow up, ah, yeah, 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 I don't know. But I don't have to follow up. I don't know what it is, but whatever your weakness is, just write it down. Analyze it. Okay? Opportunities. What is it? You can say, okay, in my area, there are plenty, plenty, plenty societies, Muslim societies in my area. And they're always talking about empowerment. That's not talking about, ah, there's an opportunity for me. I can go and meet the imam and tell them, look, give me a date. Let me come and present in the mosque. Let me come and present in your meeting. Let me come and present. That's an opportunity. You need to analyze it. Are you following? Some of you may have opportunities around. You may say, okay, oh, this is my estate. Every Saturday, people are in the house. Every Saturday, they don't go out. I think I'm going to do a home lunch on this Saturday so that my neighbors can come to my house. After all, I've not seen them now. Okay, this week, I'll go and start greeting them one by one, one by one. Greet everybody. Monday, Tuesday, I'm greeting them. Then on Thursday, I'll tell them I'm launching my business in my house and they'll come. That's an opportunity. You may say, okay, my office, oh, ah, they just pay salary, oh, hey, end of the month, end of the month, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, let me go and do home lunch in my office. This is the best time to go and invite. Analyze what are the opportunities you have. And then what are your threats? This person has been diligent, you know, every time they are saying end of the month, let me go and catch him once they pay salary. Let me send him this video to make him know, ah, look, if you don't join in business now, this is what's happened to you. What are the threats? What are the issues? Analyze. Don't just keep on doing the business like a zombie. You, you do something, you set a goal, you didn't hit it, you are going, you are going. Another goal, you didn't hit it, you are still going, you are still going. Another goal, you know, you need to stop once they want to say, okay, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? What do I need to add? These things are so, so, so important, okay? I hope if you are learning something, go to the comments and say, I'm learning. If you are learning, go to the comments and say, I am learning. Quickly, okay, so I know that uh, we are together, okay? Fantastic, okay? So do an analysis of your business. What's been happening so far? Now, the third thing you need to do is what? Follow up previous prospects. No, before I even go to number three, okay? So once you've analyzed your business, you've done a SWOT analysis, you now know the areas you need to focus on. Just by doing a SWOT analysis, you can actually come up with a strategy. 
Okay, oh, these are my strengths. So, okay, I'm going to focus on my strengths. Oh, these are my weaknesses. Okay, I'm going to work on it. I'm scared of following up. I'm going to follow up at least 50 people this month. If I'm scared of following up, then it means I must follow up. Because the best way to overcome a fear is not just by learning, learning, attending some music, it's by actually doing that thing. I'm scared of driving. What do I do? I learn how to drive and I enter the road. I'm scared of swimming. I learn how to swim and I enter the pool. Okay? So from doing your sort analysis, you already know what to do. Some of you, your team, people are coming and dropping up, coming and dropping up. Why are they coming and dropping up? What do I need to do? Okay, what if I start visiting people? What if I, what if I do that? So from this analysis, you already have a strategy already for yourself you can adopt. Okay, good. So when we're done with this meeting, go and do your SWOT, okay? Now, number three thing you need to do, follow up previous prospects. Oh, follow up previous prospects, okay? We have a lot of people that saw the business last month, a lot of them. This is the end of the month they told you about to. Are you following? This is the end of the month. Call them. Ah, how are you? Ali, what, what's up? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, month has ended. Oh, when are you getting started? Okay. Okay. Month has ended. Oh, yeah. Bring your money. Let's start the business for you. Uh, Ali, we just launched a challenge in our team. It's called November to remember. Don't you want to end the, the, the year well? This is what we are doing. You know, send them the flyer. Say, look, join the business manager so you can be part of this November to remember. I want to work with you. I want to show you how to make one. See, at this month of uh, November, but I want to generate at least 36, 72, because whatever it is, tell them this is what I want to do. And I want you to be among those who generate it. And as I'm showing you how to generate it, you're going to make it for yourself to come your payment. Now, are you following? Follow up all the previous prospects. Follow them up. You don't follow up tomorrow or next tomorrow. Today, from today, you start doing it. Because the way Nigerians are, is as if they used to ring bell. Once somebody gets paid, they used to ring bell in their village. Pa, 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 pa. Tunde Ednot has gotten paid. Hey, everybody will start saying, everybody will start calling me, please. My uncle's father's brother swallowed trouble. Can you send me money? Please. My, sick, my daughter is sick, and they say it's only you that can give money for her health bills. People begin to call you. You guys know about it. So once you're in class, people start calling you. Once money comes, so guess what? Get Collect that money from a prospect. Tell them to join the business now. Let them invest now before they start solving all those problems that never finish. So follow up previous prospects today. Okay, fantastic. Number four thing you do is what? Make a fresh list of 150. Sorry. Make a fresh list of what? 150. Are you following? Make a fresh list of 150. Many of you have people on your phone. I'm not saying go and get this from, from the well. No. You have people on your phone that you have not shown the business to. A lot of you. You have people on your phone that you have refused to show them. I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't understand. But you have that. Write that list. You see this November to remember it. Eh? Everybody must benefit from it. Write that contact list. Some of you, your goal is to encourage your leader. Your leader is saying, CEO, me, I want to do 144. You push better align. Everybody align. You know? So make a fresh list of 150 prospects. Fresh list of 150. And you begin to charge out to do it. Those are people that you've showed business before, before. Yes, you must follow them up, but that one is normal. But make a fresh list of 150 prospects from your phone, from Facebook, from questionnaires, from people you meet every day. Very important. Turning cold market to warm market. I already trained that. I think I spoke about that. I think last two parcel meeting where I spoke about the four C's. Yes. Okay. So apply those four C's. Compliment, you meet somebody, give them a compliment. After that, you start a conversation with them, just in about different things. Common interest, look, um, uh, compliment, common, in common interest, conversation, and then continuation. I spoke about it last week. I'm not going to talk about it again. Okay? That's the four ways to make a total stranger your friend. You meet them, you compliment them, you find a common interest, something that joins you guys together, whether they like football, tea, whatever it is. You start talking about it. Start up a conversation before you know you collect their numbers. Oh, give me your number. I like making you friends. Give me your number. Maybe I'll buy food from you and all of that. Okay. So that's what I spoke about. So make that fresh list of 150. Number four. One, two, no, number five. Sorry. Make a list of those who can do multiple accounts. You see this challenge, eh? There, there are <laughs> there are two types of people here. Hmm? The first type, you see this money, they've already won it. It's just that they've not collected it yet. As, as I just showed, uh, 36 codes, you get 50K. 72 codes, you get 200K. Uh, 108 codes, you get 150K. 144 codes, you get uh, 200K. And then one, um, 
what's the final one? 180 or so. Well, it's 180, you get to physical. Some people here in the first category, they have already collected the money in their mind. They're, they're like, boss, leave this thing you are saying, leave this thing. I've collected it. They've already decided which one they are going to collect. And they've collected it in their mind. They are just calculating, okay, this person can make this in account. That person, okay, mm, I'll do 144. They've already collected the money. Okay. And then the second type of people, hey, hey, how will I do it? Oh, are you sure I can do it? Are you sure? That two types of people, the same meeting, the same person talking to you. So your mindset is very important. Make a list of those who can do multiple accounts. See, eh, this code is thing is, is so if I this is the simplest challenge we have done. What is 36 codes? Two people do 15 accounts. One person does six accounts. Is that why we are here? Very simple. Oh. It's not even seven people do five, five accounts or five people do seven accounts. That is it. Oh. That's what we're talking about here. It's done already. Are you following? So what do you do to make your life easier? Try those who can do multiple accounts. Simple. You have an uncle who loves business, who has been doing business for a long time. He's very excited about business. You showed him this a while ago, and he said, no, he's not sure. Go back and meet him. Say, Uncle Alpha, what are you doing? Look, come and join the business now. We're doing November to remember. Oh, come, just come and join the business. Come and get started. OK? He says, I'm already making money. I know you're making money, but don't you want to be healthy? We're going to give products that will make you healthy. Come and join the business. I'm doing November to remember, and I need to win the challenge. Uncle, you must join. I you following? Make a list. That boss in the office. Because if you don't get that your boss to join, somebody else will get your boss to join. You. Are you following? I tell people all the time, if you don't get your friend to join the business, la boda vida people are, we are crazy, yo. Hey, we are not normal again, though. Everywhere you go, the other day I was coming from my estate. And my estate is, is a bit far, you know? And it's residential, there's no office there. I saw some people wearing la boda vida chair, holding flyer. I said, hey, these people have come here, oh. Do you understand? So you must get to them before that people get here, until they're in your team and you guys go together and make money together, okay? Now, use the super indirect approach for those above. What do I mean by that? You may say, okay, I just I have somebody who I really want to show, but I don't know how to talk to them. You know, the person is very wealthy, they can do most placards, but I don't know how to show them, I don't know what to do. Use super indirect approach, okay? And we learned that from who? Eric Quarry. Eric Quarry says, what happens? You call your friend. So let's say you have this um, friend who's extremely wealthy, very busy and all that. You say, okay, oh, Tunde, how are you doing? Hope you're good. Oh, you know, I've always admired how you do business. I've always looked up to you. I love how you do business. I love how you prepare. I love how you do your things. Okay. Tunde, guess what? There's something I'm starting this November. There's a business I'm doing. I want you to help me check it out and give me your feedback. And that thing is, is sure some of my status. Yes. I want you to just check it out and give me your feedback. Let me know if I'm doing the right thing. Let me know if I'm on the right path. Give me your opinion. Give me your feedback. Okay. Guess what? Successful people like to help other people. They like to advise. So you have, you've not said, come and join my business. That's an indirect way, okay? So I've told you a direct way, and I'm also now showing you an indirect way. It depends on what you're comfortable with, but the person must be shown, okay? So today I said, okay, I know what, like, how do I tell me about the person? I can't really explain the business verbally. It's 100% or it's 90% visual. So I can't explain to you over the phone or seeing you like this. What I want you to do, we're going to have a short, um presentation today by five o'clock are you free by five i'm going to send you the link just attend it please make sure you're writing as you attend so that after the meeting you can give me your feedback are you following super indirect approach okay nothing venture nothing gain so this is a very easy thing to do okay and then the next one is what operation home launch stroke business launch when organizations launch a business or launch a project they don't just start it like that. They launch it. Are you following? They don't just release, oh, a new Samsung has come out, oh, please go and buy. No, they do a launch. Are you following? That's what companies do. You, you open your salon, open a restaurant, open your shop. What do you, you don't just open it and start selling. You do a launch. You do a business launch. You launch it. Same thing with our business. If you have not done business launch or home launch, please, this November to remember, you must do it all. Okay, if you have not, <laughs> if you have not done business launch or home launch this November, you must do it. Very simple. What does business launch or home launch mean? But who are you? You gather your people together, either in your house or in a hall or somewhere, just your people. Or even in the office, when they have office business, you can gather your people in the office and say, look, oh, I'm launching my business on so so day, Saturday by two o'clock, Saturday by three, Saturday by five. And then let your leader come and do a presentation on your behalf. Very simple. It can even be on Zoom. If you have people in all over Nigeria and they are not, many of them are not in your vicinity, 
or you invited us in your vicinity, do a launch on Zoom. Look, oh guys, I'm launching my business on Zoom by 5 p.m. today, blah, blah, blah. I want you to join and let me know what you feel. Join my business. Come and see what I'm doing. Support me. Are you following? You support those people so they have to support you. So please, home launch is so, so, so important. You can do home launch every week. Do we understand that? Fantastic, okay? Now, utilize social media. Utilize social media, okay? Now, this flyer you can post. You don't worry, we're going to create another flyer. We're going to create at least two more flyers, okay? So this one is just when I created it myself. My flyer guy is not available. I know some of you are surprised. Ah, but this flyer is not so nice. Don't worry, okay? Some of you already like it. But uh, I'm going to create another one, okay? So now, you can post the flyers on your social media. Everybody, Operation November to Remember. They'll be asking you, what is this remember? You've been posting for your status since November to remember your DP, Facebook, everywhere. What are you remembering this, December, this November? Please come and tell me about it. Okay, my team has launched a campaign to show people how they can make more money this year, ending the year's financially strong. November, people need a lot of money for November so that December will be good. Are you calling? And what do I need to do? Five o'clock by um, this evening, we have a meeting on Zoom. I'll send you the link so you can join. It's 90% visual. I can't explain to you on the phone. I'm so excited about it. It's 90% visual. Join the link and we're going to show you exactly what you need to do. Do we understand that? Okay, fantastic. And then the last one here is what? Work closely with your team to hit their goals. Please, I hope you are screenshotting. Work closely with your team so that they can hit their goals. This is not a me, myself, and I. No, it is a collective effort. And I've already explained to you at the beginning. Okay, it's a collective. Together we win. Together we do it. It's not just you, 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 you. Everybody does it together and then you will grow. Okay. So these are things you need to do. Please screenshot. If you're done screenshotting, come to the comments and say I'm done screenshotting. If you're done screenshotting, come to the comments and let me know you are done screenshotting, okay? Quickly, quickly, guys, 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 quickly. Okay, a lot of you are new. My name is Ambassador Romke Koshimani, and I'm the leader of the Wealth Creators team. I'm one of the leaders of La Buena Vida business, okay? So I know some of you are new and you've probably not seen me before, okay? So let's continue. Like I said, work with your team to hit their goals, okay? So now, what are some other things you can do? Continue. Picture how much you need to end the year with. Then decide which of the challenges you're going to go for. <laughs> do we understand that? Picture how much you want to end the year with. So for example, if I know that this end of the year, I need, let's say I have three children, for example, okay? Or four, four, I want to have four. So let me say four if it's okay? So let's say I have four children, and I've already promised them that if they come first in their class, I will buy bicycles for all of them. And then I'm going to take them to, let's say, Yankari Game Reserve for Christmas. Okay? I've already calculated. Because of the dollar, one bicycle is now 120K. Hey, four. That's four, 480K. Okay, I need 480K. Then Yankari Game Reserve, I need an extra, let's say, 500K to take them there. It means that if I know what is good for me, I better arrange, because you know children, Children you know, nowadays, they are not like us that were polite. They'll tell you, Daddy, you have been, you're always promising and failing. That's what they'll, they'll, they'll tell you. And they are telling the truth. Uh -huh. So I know that if I know what's good for me, let me go and look for one, one million somewhere so that I can buy their bicycle and take them to Yankari Game Reserve. So what do I do? I now look at this challenge. I say, okay, oh, 36 codes. No, 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 no. Mm, it's not for me. It's not for me. Uh, 72 codes. No, 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 no. Not for me. But, okay. This 144 code is looking like. If I do 144 codes, I will make at least like 800k. Then I'm going to make an additional 200k. That's one million naira. Oh yeah, operation 144 codes. And that is what I'm going to be chasing. Four of my legs, I begin to work with them. Oh yeah, come, let's go and do home lunch. You must do 36. Four of you, 36, 36, 36. Um, whether they like it or not, they must do it. Because I must get my one million. So I begin to work with them one by one by one by one, showing them what to do, pushing them and all of that. Do you understand? So that's what you're going to do. Some of you say, no, I don't need that. I need X amount of money. Whatever it is you need, Sha, just make sure you decide from here and then you ensure you get it. That's the beauty of our business, okay? Good. Now, decide that it will be done no matter what. Like I said, some of you have already decided already. You're, but some of you, as I'm talking here, you are, you've already started generating, you've already started chatting somebody. Oh, yeah, November to November. Come on, transfer to accept that account. Chat, chat, please. I have no time. Quickly, I want to do home run for you this Saturday. Oh, yeah, go and transfer. Some of you, as I'm talking, you're already, you're already collecting your code already. Like some of you have before this meeting ends, you've already generated two codes because you're already you're already on the move, you're already chatting, calling your friends, you're already doing what you need to do. So of you before the day ends, you've already generated 10 codes. No time, no time. Okay, that is it. So decide. 
The rest of you have not decided. Decide. Let me tell you, this thing will be done. No? Do you see the challenge we're talking about? It will be done, whether you like it or not. Whether you do it or not, those who do it will do it. So just ensure that you are among. If it's bad, at least just enter 36. And now let me say something. If you have been doing 36, 36 before, and you come and do 36 on this one, nothing for you. Oh. I've already told my leaders. Because everybody must push yourself. If you have done 36 codes just once in your life, and you go and do 36 codes again, hey, maybe you may win money from the challenge. But if you have been doing 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, and it's nothing to you, and then you're not going to do 36, so yeah, oh, no, 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 no. You must go a notch higher. I'm going to repeat myself. If, for example, I have been doing 36 codes every month, normal level, normal, there's no big deal, there's no, it's nothing to me. And then this challenge, I'm not going to do the same 36. Go back, uh, back you, nothing from you. But if I've been doing, if I've not done 36 before, and this is my first time and I do it, fine. I get it. Or if I've done 36 just once and I do it again, that's fine. Or if I've been doing 36 before, I need to do this time, I need to do what, 72. Because the goal is for everybody to push higher, not to remain. Some of you just say, okay, I will not even do anything. I don't know that. Come on, collect. No, 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 no. Okay? Everybody must be moved. Everybody must be challenged. Everybody must go to the next level. I hope you understand that, okay? Now, encourage massive upgrades. Upgrades are very, very important. One of the reasons is that when somebody upgrades their account, they are more serious. When somebody upgrades their account, they are much, much, much more serious. Somebody with one account will face a type of rejection. The same rejection will hit somebody with 15 accounts. The person with 15 accounts will say, no, I must, I must make my money from this business. I must make my money back. Home. The person will go and keep on doing the business. The person will just take one account. Ah, I bet, I bet. Maybe it's even a sign. You know, Nigerians are always doing for sign. Maybe it's even a sign that I should not be, ah, see how this person spoke to me. And then they quit. Because you just paid only for only one account. Now, that's why you're not serious. That's the truth. They say, put your money where your mouth is. If, for example, for, <laughs> for me, when I joined, like I said, I didn't have money. I had to go and borrow the money to register. Because I had borrowed, I knew that the business must work for me, oh, because I must pay back those that I was owing. So my attitude was different. So when rejection was coming from left, right, and center, I said, I'm not going anywhere. It'd be like, see, I must do this business because I've already put my money in. Are you following? So encourage massive upgrade, and massive upgrade makes your life easier. Instead of saying, ah, how do I do 36 people with one account? Why are you stressing yourself? So people with three accounts, you beat the challenge already now. Three with 15 accounts, you ready? So uh, uh, encourage massive upgrade, okay? After QSG, if person is not upgrading, do QSG for them again. Maybe they don't understand. Draw the circle for them. Sit down. Do get everybody can have Zoom free of charge. So even if you have someone that is far away, do Zoom. Tell them join my Zoom meeting. Log into Zoom. Join. Tell them join your Zoom meeting. Draw the circles for them. Let them see it again. Maybe they don't understand what the person was saying. If they are with you, sit down one on one. Look up. If you do this, your legs will be blocked. Oh, tomorrow, don't come and tell me. Oh yeah, do at least do four over fifteen at least. If it's bad, four over fifteen minimum. Oh yeah, let's get started. Okay. The next one is what? Do the necessary activities as I discussed earlier. You won't just stumble on this. I already discussed in the former slide exactly what to do. Everything I said, they ensure that you do it. Okay, fantastic. Now, keep track of your activities daily. Keep track of your activities daily. Know what you're doing. This November to remember, is not a time for you to just be relaxing anyhow. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, what will be will be. What will be will not be is what you make it out to be that will happen. Okay, so track at the end of the day, what did I do today? How many calls did I make? How many invitations? What and what did I do? You begin to check yourself, begin to discuss it. Very, very important. Okay, good. Now, let your upline leader hold you what? Accountable. You know, our business, there is no boss, there is no ogre. There's no one that will say, oh, you did not invite anybody this month. Bam, I'll block your account. No, nothing like that. So you need somebody who will hold you accountable, okay? Very, very, very important. So let your upline leader hold you accountable. This is so important for you to grow. And then don't miss cell meetings, please, okay? Don't miss cell meetings. Very important. We are going to be checking from time to time. Those who are, that's why thank God we have breakout cell meetings from Tuesday to Friday. This one, this big house, we may not be able to check who is there, who is not here. But in the breakout cell meetings, you can begin to check. You cannot say well, from first, you attend a cell meeting first. You do not attend again till the next super cell meeting on, on the 8th. You, have, you only attend cell meeting once a week. And then you now say, hey, I have generated 180 codes. Where's my 250K? We'll tell you that we, don't, we are not part of our family. You don't attend cell meetings. So we don't know where you got the codes from. We don't understand what you're doing. So cell meetings are part of it. 
This period is very important because we're going to be teaching as we go on this month. We're going to be teaching different things, different things, different things during your meetings that are going to help this challenge easier for you. Okay. Now I can't. Uh, I need to wrap up. I wanted to do it another training on. Um, I wanted to do a training quickly on daily method of operation for full timers and part timers, but I'm running out of time and we have we have a testifier right now. You know, super cell meetings these days are very super. We always have someone that will come and testify and get us excited. But let me let me just run through it as fast as I can. Okay, let me just run through it. Okay, so I'm going to show you what to do if you're full time and if you're part time. Okay, just run through something for you. For those who are full time, okay, what you need to do at least eight hours a day. Why? As if you're working. How, how, how do you need to do that? Very simple. First of all, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., we obviously have what? Cell meetings. You must attend your cell meetings. Very, very important. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., you have to do your reminder calls. This is just an example, though. You can reshuffle it and know, but it's just a guide. Because some people say, hey, what am I supposed to be doing if I'm full time? What should I be doing? How am I doing this? Blah, blah, blah. If I didn't even ask, if you're here and you're full time, go to the comments and say full time. If you're doing a business full time, go to the comments and say full time. Okay? So there are things you need to do. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Make your follow up calls in your diary. Those who are coming that day, those who came the previous day, I mean, do your follow up calls on them and all of that. Okay? 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. What happens? You're doing booking of new prospects for presentations. Start making your 50 bookings daily. If you're full time, remember what Ambassador Mike told us. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., you can have a little break. You can eat. During that break, you can gist, you can play at least one hour, not more than that. So what that means is that anytime, apart from that one to two that you're supposed to be eating or whatever, whatever, you don't do any other thing. You cannot be gisting and playing when you're supposed to make your booking calls. Two to four, prospecting online, question, um, prospecting activities, questionnaires, calling interest forms, attending to teammates and all that. Four to five online prospecting, five to six bookings, okay? And then you can close by six if you want to. Okay, so that's just a sample of what full-timers can do. I'll talk more about this another time, but because I'm rushing now. Um, then if you're part-time, what do you do? Okay, I know some, a, lot, a lot of us are part-time. Uh -uh, what do you do? Okay, we can do three hours. What happens to us? One hour for following up. One hour for booking of prospects. One hour for prospecting. Okay, one hour for following up. Those who said they will join, those who said this, this end of the month, one hour for doing that. One hour for booking of prospects, calling them to invite them for presentation and all of that. And then another hour for prospecting, sending recommendation SMS, answering questions and all of that, okay? For attending to teammates and all that. So that's simply what we can do. Are you following? Fantastic, okay? So some of the terms and conditions for the challenge. Um, number one, no carryover of quotes from last month. Uh -huh, yes. Some of you are saying, ah, November to remember. Somebody paid 15 accounts for me yesterday during yesterday's Amazon presentation. Wonderful. So what that means that all I need to do is just clear the payment this month. All I need to just encode this month and then it will come for me. No, 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 sir. No, sir. The payments are payments that start coming from today because we'll check the payment dates. When did the payments come in? The payments that start coming from November to remember. Payments from today, codes from today. Do you understand? The payments came today. If the code, if the payment came last month, you cannot use it for November to remember. You can encode it. You make money, that's fantastic. But November to remember codes are what we're going to be counting. Okay? Very simple. Because we leaders, we're not picking the money from the floor. We're using our hard end money. Okay? Now, 30% of the codes must come from a different leg. Some of you, you have a team that is one sided. One leg is growing, one leg is generating codes, 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 codes. Some of you, one, one leg generates at least 100 codes every month. So in your mind, ah, ready, calculated. No, 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 sir. No, ma. 30% of the code must come from a different leg. So you can only eat 70% from one leg. But if it's only one leg that is produced for you, you cannot get it. That's not possible. It doesn't make any sense. Do you understand? It's not monkey, they walk, baboon, they chop. No. So 30% must come from a different leg. So we know that you are balancing. Okay? Because God forbid you say, I generated 108 codes and you do not make money. Because it's from one leg. No, you must also balance up. The next thing is what? 36 course qualifiers should have at least three personal course recruited. What do I mean by that? See, me and only have thought about this thing. Because we understand that there are some people who will say, oh, um, you have two legs that are active. 
Your left is active. Your right is active. Are you following? Your left is doing what your right to do. And you're not doing anything anymore. You're not supporting them. You're not presenting for them. You're not doing follow-up calls for them. You're not doing jack for them. Home lunch, nothing. But you're just blessed because like, whenever that can bless you to have left and right active legs. What happens? You personally must do something. It is not going to be monkey, they walk, baboon, they chop. You personally must. Do. So if you're doing, say, oh, I generated 36 code, fantastic. We're going to check. Did everything come from one leg? If the answer is yes, sorry. But if it came from two legs, fantastic. At least 30% from one leg. Number two, you personally should do at least three personal codes. Yes. You should do activity as well. Not that Tunde on your left generated 18 codes. Ahmed on your right generated 18 codes. You now might say, Ambassador, could you please give me my 50,000? No. You personally must grind and generate at least three codes. Not that you went to upgrade your account, not that one. You generated three codes yourself from the business, personally that month. So we know that you're not just sleeping and waiting for that to work here because of your downlines complaint. Uh -uh. After all, my upline is not even presenting, he's not training, he's not doing anything, doesn't pick my calls, nothing. And he's just making money from me. Uh, alliance, you can make money from Alliance. So, but you see, this is our wealth creators team. Well, we're going to be very fair. We're going to be fair to everybody. Okay? So even if you do 50 codes, 25 left, 25 right, and you do not generate one code that month, just enjoy Alliance money. No bonus for you. 72 codes qualifiers should have at least five personal codes generated. Yes. It's not enough to say, I am a Ruby wealth connector. I am a Ruby. Oshe, Mr. Ruby. Okay, Ruby, Ruby. Fantastic. You can be a Ruby wealth connector. That's wonderful. But guess what? You personally, are you doing anything? Are you active? Or are you just waiting for your people to push you and make you Ruby? So that's what you may and your leaders thought about. So what do we do that everybody does something? So that it's not fair that people are just eating from people's sweat. No. So Ruby Wealth Connectors, you personally, as a Ruby Wealth Connector, you have 72 codes. You must have generated five codes personally. Either you have one person that pays for five accounts. Fine. But this is it, okay? Now, <laughs> somebody said this challenge is changed. All right. No exit. We must work. Yes. Yes. Okay? Now, the next one. So from 108 and above, you do 108, you do 144, you do 180 codes, you must have seven personal codes generated. You cannot come and tell me, Ambassador, hey, I generated 180 codes. Please, my 250K, just send it to my access bank account. Just wire it, wire it, wire it. What? No problem, we'll wire it. But we'll first of all, ask you, send us your details. Let us check. The 180 codes, is it all from one leg or is it spread across different legs? It is spread, fantastic. Question number two. Personally, how many codes you generate? Ah, I got one person that did three accounts. No, sir. No, man. It cannot work. You can't have one person that did three accounts and then you now the 180. So who did the 180 codes? Okay. So your boys, your girls went to go and do 180 codes and you just sit down and chop the money. No, 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 no. You will do seven codes personally. Okay. So everybody is excited. And finally, the team should be placed in incubator groups. What do I mean? Don't just go and carry family members. I remember when I did bed, you, you people have dealt with me. Oh. This is my team. You people, you people have dealt with me. Hey, God. But sometimes I just, I just allowed it slide. But no, no more sliding. When I did my birthday challenge, some of you, you know what you did? Somebody would do a uh, register like how many people? Then when it's almost time, hey, I don't have one. Don't have a register, their uncle, their father, their brother. You log into some because we check. You log into somebody's page, you will see seven, son, seven of them is the same surname. Okay, so are you telling me that your family members did not join you since please, now that there's a challenge that all of them just joined you, bam, that month, six of them, the same surname. Same surname, some of them are your children. Are you telling me your four-year-old son is going to start sharing questionnaire? Or you are telling me your 10-year-old daughter will start doing home lunch? So guess what? These people should be placed on incubator groups, okay? So we need to be sure that they are real human beings and they are active, okay? So, uh, so you can see that it's not business as usual, okay? Everybody will work, everybody will invite, everybody will be doing what they need to do, and everybody will be happy. So that when you are collecting that money, you will spend this with reckless abandon. You will spend it with your full chest because you know that, ah, this money, I, 
I invited, at least I invited for this. Okay? Someone said ghost workers. Yeah, so plenty ghost workers. And after that challenge, you did not work again. Those people that they, that they, they recruited, nothing, nothing. Okay? Good, okay? So these are some of the terms and conditions that we have put in place so that your teammates will not be angry that, oh, they are just working for you. Everybody's happy. Everybody's moving together. Everybody. So this is 100% fair and just. Okay? Fantastic. So those are the terms and conditions. Um, I'm going to be calling. I have some announcements to make. Okay, you obviously know that our awards are coming up on the first, on the eighth. Next, this time next week, the next supercell meeting is going to be an awards supercell meeting. So get excited about it. We're going to be having our team awards. I'm so excited. Send all your details to your leader. If you qualify for any challenge or anything this month of um, October, October that just passed, either you become, became a World Connector, Ruby World Connector, and all that. Remember, we check payments. It's payments we are going to count. So even if the code has not been cleared, and all, as long as the person made payments that period, that month, right, we can count it as World Connector. We can check it, okay? Because like I said, there is no carryover. If somebody paid last night, the payment last night, and you clear the code today, it cannot count for November to remember. It will count for last month. So if you, you make money this month, but it counts for last. So just make sure you clear it and all of that, okay? So please send your details to your leader, your details, your downline details that have become silver executives, gold executives, and all that. Your downline just who have become wealth connectors, kingsmen, investment leaders. Send your details to your leader latest today or latest tomorrow so that they can send it to me and then we can award them on the 8th. Next supercell meeting is going to be fantastic, okay? So now I'm going to be calling on somebody. And I've, I've actually been excited. I've been very excited to, um, to get this person to testify for such a long time. And this is one of our youngest super achievers, okay? Lawrence, are you here? One of our young super achievers. And his success in the business is so, so, so inspiring. And it just goes to show you that nobody has an excuse. You know, nobody, you don't have an excuse at all. If you're in this business, you can succeed, okay? I remember when he started, I'm not going to tell his story, but he's going to come and share with us some few things that really helped him and got him so excited about the business. Uh, Lawrence, are you here? If you're I'm here, here boss, I'm here, boss. So I want everybody to go to the comments and say you are welcome as I welcome the latest or the youngest superstar in our team, Lawrence Obiadu, to just share one or two things with us, okay? Please get excited. This is my favorite part of Super Summit. Okay, thank, thank you so much, boss. Thank you so much, boss, for this opportunity. You're welcome. Please, if you can hear me clearly, please kindly type in two on the chat section. If you can hear me and you can see me, please kindly type in two on the chat section. Okay, amazing, amazing. <clears throat> thank you so much, Ambassador, for this opportunity. You know, my name is um, Obia Julie Lawrence Leo Ikini, and I will be sharing um, a few of my story and how the journey has been with Labola Vida Project. Now, I, I came across um, Labola Vida Project Opportunity sometime in 2019. I came across Labola Vida Project Opportunity sometime in 2019. And before I came, before I came across Labola Vida Project, I already attended the seminary. I did my secondary school days in the seminary. Now, I wanted to become a priest. That was my first, um, that was my first vision or my passion was to become a priest. Now, I attended the seminary, and while I was in school, there was people who had to go home every time for school fees. There were people who, who every day, they had to go home for school fees. When it was time for exams, they had to chase them home for school fees. And I felt like it was fun. I wanted to go home then for school fees, but I was lucky enough to um, come from a family I was born with the silver spoon. And just to my dad is doing very well, my mom is also doing very well. Now, before the term began, my school fees was already paid. Before the term is ended, my school fees was already paid. Can you hear me clearly? Is it loud? <clears throat> can you hear me? Can you hear me very well? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank you so much, boss. Now I felt like it was fun going home for school fees because I, I wanted to go home then. But I realized that they were not going home because they wanted to go home. Now they were only going home because their parents failed to pay their school fees. So it dawned on me when I was in SS2 and in SS3, when, when I was taking my work exams, there were people who had they, they had to leave the hall because they are not paid for their work fees and some other fees attached to that. And this is me here from SS1 to SS3, my school fees was already paid by my dad. And I asked myself a question. Now, I felt very bad that people were going home because they were not having the money to pay for their school fees. Now, I wanted to help people like that. <clears throat> and I wanted to pay their school fees for them. Like we always say, those of who present now that you cannot give what you don't have. Now, in as much as I wanted to help people like that who were not having their school fees, there was no way I could help them because I wasn't the one paying my school fees myself. 
So I tried my best to see where I could help them, but it wasn't forthcoming. And I always gave him my permission then. I helped him my own little way, but that was not that was not what I wanted. Then I wanted to do something bigger, paying their scriptures and this that. So that wasn't forthcoming. And I graduated from school. Now it wasn't time to become a reverend again. So I wanted to become a, um, a doctor. My dad wanted me to become a doctor. Now his goal for me was to become a doctor, we'll fly you outside the country and you live life on your own things. Now I realized that I was coming from somewhere who people were not even having the money to pay for just secondary school fees. And here somebody's trying to send me outside the country to study medicine and surgery. And I realized that there's not, there's not, there was nothing I could do. That was what my dad wanted and I had to do what just came to his vision. That was not my vision to become a doctor, that was his. I had to came to the vision because he was my dad. But something happened when I left the seminary, I came out, I saw a lot of challenges, more than what I saw in school. I saw people were not having scriptures, and I came out, I saw a lot of people were begging on the road. People were begging on the road. People, people, people were just everywhere begging. And it dawned on me that I wanted to help people while I was in school, and that vision died. And I told myself that I'm not going to allow this vision die at this point in time. Now, my vision of wanting to help people, seeing a way that people will smile for the fact that someone like me is alive, I'm not going to allow the vision die this single time. So I knew the only way I could do that was with the, with the resources being available. So I thought of what I could do. And I, I went online that night and I searched online, what can I do to be very successful? And I saw a video by Brian Tracy and some other persons were speaking about real estate and a lot of businesses, but I realized that these were businesses who needed that needed a huge amount of money to start. And there was no way I could start up such businesses. I had, a, I had some money saved up then I got from my dad and my mom. I had some money saved up, but the money wasn't enough to buy a land and start real estate. And it was something I wanted to do while I was in school. I would not distract my studies. And the major purpose while I was starting the business was to help people. The resources from there is being channeled to funding and help at the beginning of the street. So it wasn't forthcoming, and I realized that I met somebody sometime in when I was in seminar and studying and stuff in my upline. So I, I chatted him up on Messenger that day and I told him my plan. So he, he said, Please, can you still hear me? Please, can you hear me? Can you type in seven? My next one for me out. Okay, you're back. You're back. Okay, thank you so much, Russ. Okay, now I, I remember I met somebody on, I met somebody when I was in seminar in Stadina and Safili and I had to him on missing, I had to chat him up and told him plans of wanting to start up something while I was in school and not distract my study. And he said he had something for me. So for many of us who are scared to send our prospect the 15 minutes video, he sent me a video. Then it was it was not 15 minutes, it was when it was 38,000. It was the video was shorter than 15 minutes. And I watched the video. And the only thing that made sense to me was you'll be making 96,000 on a daily basis. Now I remember I was looking for an opportunity because I wanted to help people. And when I watched that video, I lost focus because what I said calculating them was so imagine me if I make 96,000 on a daily basis. My dad will not be in control of me anymore. My lecturers will not be in control of me anymore. And I'll be able to do whatever I want to do. Now, I, I lost focus. Now, I, I was seeking for an opportunity because I wanted to help people. That was my wife was looking for an opportunity at the first instance. And now I saw an opportunity. And my first thinking was not those who I wanted to help. My first thinking was, was myself. But I think that I was able to retrace my steps. I came into the opportunity. And when I came into the opportunity, sometime September 2019, I met um, Ambassador, Mr. Shrinke. And Towards that period, there was a trip. You know, there was there was a, there was an event coming up at Lagos. It's called the, um, the um, um, Alliance Anniversary. So at that period, we were meant to go for the anniversary. We were meant to pay some certain amount of money for for the transport and the rest of that. Now at this point in time, I traveled to Kaduna to run my business because I I, I I wanted to run the business fully. Now I saw the vision of the business. Having met Ambassador Katwari, I knew that the business was it was beyond just what I wanted. So I told myself, I'm going to make sure I run, I, I run the business in as much as it has been able to help a lot of persons become financially free and in turn help other persons become financially free. Then the same thing is this is something I can, I can also do. And this is a best challenge for me to help people since, that's what I, since that is what I want. Now, it was time to go for this anniversary at Lagos. I wasn't having the money to go because I just used the money I had to pay for. I, I had to pay for five accounts, first of all, to make my account five of my 15. And that was, that was the money I had. Now I went to Kaduna to run my business. And as I thought I was in Kaduna, there was no money to fund my business anymore. And this trip came. Now, the person who had to pay for this trip was, was our ambassador, ambassador, Mrs. Renke Kushemani. Now at this point in time, I never knew that she was, she saw that she wanted me to succeed. 
I was asking myself, what, what exactly is this lady after? She had to pay for my retreat, she paid for the ticket, paid for my transportation, paid for the hotel accommodation. This was during the retreat. And something happened here. Now, by the picture by the left hand side, it was when she was awarded as the top nine, top nine highest in 2019. We went for the retreat, and in less than, before I went for the retreat, she said I, sh I should make sure before I'm in Abuja, if I'm, before I'm in Lagos, I should make sure I'm already a presenter. I was not up to one month in the business yet. I was barely about two weeks, three weeks, but she was gingering me and I should make sure I start presenting before I come to Lagos. So I, I made sure I learned how to introduce. I was already introducing people who were presenting, and I went to Lagos. On the day we took this picture by the left hand side, so I whispered to her, she asked me, Doris, are you already presenting? And I told her I was so excited. I was like, I, I never wanted to lie. So I told her the truth. I said, I'm not yet presenting, but um, introducing. And immediately she fled up. She shouted at me then. I was like, this is more who they just awarded as a top nine SN. And she just fled up really because I'm not, I was not yet presenting. And she gave me just one week that before the, the next anniversary, which was only your life anniversary, that she make sure I'm already presenting. If not, that she just know that I'm going to come back with my taste for And I was like, with the way she's acting this way, I'm not around her and the pressure is too much. Imagine if I'm not in Abuja. So I had to start presenting in less than a week. Not knowing she was after my sources, I felt like she was just being so so, um, so mean to me and not knowing she was after my sources. I started presenting in less than a month and that was how my journey started. Now, something happened in the month of October by the time I went back to, when I went back to Canada. Now, my admission later came out to study medicine and surgery. Now, at this point in time, my parents knew I just went to Abuja to stay with him and not knowing I was already in Canada running the business. So it came for me to study medicine and surgery. My admission later came out for me to study medicine and surgery. And it was time for me to go back to school. And I realized that I had really seen a lot, of, a lot of things when I went for the retreats, when I went to the, uh, the anniversary. I saw a lot of people being awarded. Even though I was not understanding what was happening then, people were excited. When they called on your life, everybody had to run from, run from the back to the front with chairs on their head. I wasn't really understanding why they were excited. But I just know there, there's something about this. So I had to just keep to the vision. And it became clear to me when I said presenting and when, the business is still making sense all of a sudden. And now my admission data came out to study medicine and surgery. At this point in time, I was in the state of Delhi, man. Should I go back to school or should I continue running the business? At this point, I was already presenting. And you know, doing presentation, we always ask, is getting more degrees, is that the way forward? So I didn't knew then that it was not the way forward already. I knew it was not the way forward already. So I had to turn down my admission. I had to call my dad and I had to open up to him that this is what I'm doing. I'm not interested in being a doctor anymore. I want to focus on my life and build my business. And guess what happened? It looked like I was a prodigal son and everybody had to. My dad was, since that's what I wanted, I'm on my own. So I had to run the business personally. So I was in Kaduna, running the business all alone by myself with the help of my son and Ken and Mr. Dillian. Now, when I was presenting them, now many of us, we say we cannot present because we don't have any alerts, we don't have any results. Now I said presenting in the month of October when I'm also had to force me to start presenting. I was presenting without an alert. There was no result. I had not achieved anything yet to share my story. But thank God now I had to, I was able to complete my 15 accounts with my school fees. And I had to collect my school fees for my dad. This was before I opened up. I had to collect my school fees. And I had to use 570 I collected for my school fees to complete my 15 accounts. So that's when they realized by the time I collected my money for my school fees and I was not in school, I had to open up to them. As at that point, I'm already, I already used the money for my 15 accounts. So there's no way to ask for a refund. So I did paid for my 15 account. I was able to encash a little some amount of money, about 100 plus. And that was the alert I was using in my story. That was, that was the alert that was in my slide. And with this alert, I was able to get a whole lot of people join the business. Not just because of the alert, but the way I sold the vision to them, seeing a young man of 17 years old selling a vision like this to you. Now, they knew that there was something so much about the business. Now, I started running the business. Nobody good. Now, I had left school. I had left my parents and I was on my own. And the only person who I had who, this was, this is my upline, Mr. Damien Osafi, was one who showed me the business. Now he was my father, my mother, and everything at that point in time because everybody had to leave me behind. So the only persons who I had were those in the business and the Sarenke came and a few other leaders who I knew then in Canada. They were the only ones who had to take care of me then. Now at this point in time, I always love, there's no way, there's no day I wake up without praying for him. Now at this point in time, business wasn't working as I wanted. Business was slow. Now there are many of you who you wish to get the result of Mr. A, you wish to get the result of Mr. B. I am not willing to go through, pay the price that you have to pay. Now I realized that the business was not just going to work out like that. No, I needed to, I needed there, there were things I needed to do. Now to make it deliverable in November to release business. I was inviting a lot of persons presenting. At times I had to present. There was no sign up for me. I present and I get a lot of sign-ups for people, not even my own code. Now at this point in time, I had no money. 
I have no money to care of myself anymore. Now, Mr. Demon was the one who had to keep me through at that point in time. Now, you realize that this is just, okay, he keep me through the business, but as, as a young man, he needed, he needed to support me at one, at one point in time. Now, it was not his duty, but he just had to do that for me. Now, I remember then, now my me was about, now, I never had a story before I joined the business. I was living very comfortably before I joined the business. Now, my story and my journey began when I saw the opportunity. Why? Because I wanted to be financially free, so I had to suffer to get to the level where I am today. I had to get, I had to suffer to be able to achieve my dream. I wanted to help a lot of persons. I wasn't suffering before then, but because I had that option to help a lot of persons, I had to do what, submit to what, to get into a process of what, becoming who I want to become today. Now, at that point in time, now the times that I did, Mr. Dina had to send me one five, he had to send 2,000 there. Now, my new there was 150. Now, I had to, it, it was so terrible then, I had to call him at times. I'll cry on the phone, he had to call me concerning because it seemed like the nothing was working and my family had left me. It was the only one, it was the only one who I had. Now, at that point in time, my new was 150. I had to buy. In the morning, and I had to buy a personal dinner in the morning. So I was little 150, that was my morning meal. And at night, my meal was only sure when this lady was around. That is Miss Esther Wisman. Now, many of you might know her. Now, my, my dinner was only sure when the moment she was around. Now, whenever she's not around, now there was, there was no way I would eat dinner. So the little money I had there was with the one five Mr. Dina sent me. I had to pay my transport. I had to go to the office. There was no excuse. Whether there was money or not, I had to go to the office. There was no excuse of I don't have transport. No. I had, to, I had to stop so I could get to the office. I had to buy questionnaires. And at that point in time, Mr. Dion had to take care of my breakfast. I had to eat 150 in the morning. And my dinner was only short the days since Esther was in Canada then. She had to buy me dinner. I had to pay for my transport at that time. So I had to wake up very early because she always gets to the office as early as 7 o'clock, 7.30. So I had, to up, I had to be up as well to make sure I get to the office with her because she had to pay my transport and my dinner. Now, at this point in time also, where I was staying in Canada, the place was a little bit choked up. So for about seven months, when I ran my business in Canada, I had to sleep on the floor. Now imagine going to the office every day, being tired, you had to go back to lying on the floor on the tires. Now, this is me coming from, and I, I'm, the only reason I'm saying this is for many of you who feel like you want to quit the business. Now I was coming from somewhere where I was living very com comfortable. Now the first day I went to Canada, Mr. Damian brought up a mat and he was like, this will be sleeping. And I was first asking, so I came to be sleeping on the mat. But I realized that this is not time for that. I'm here for, I know what I, I know what I'm here for. I know what's after me. So I was sleeping on the mat for about seven months and how cold canal was on the ground and the rest of that. But I realized that I had no other option. I had options to go back. If I had come back, my dad would have me. They were giving me another school fees to do my year one in school. And after that, I would still fly me outside the country. But I realized that this is the way forward. There was a passion. There was something that drew me. There, there was something that moved me to look seeking for an opportunity. So there's no way I would leave till I get that vision achieved. Now, to God be the glory, a year, a year after having so many struggles and the rest of that, now the results finally came. Now, so one of my one of my courage, one of my motivations then was now there's a passage in the Bible that says now we can enjoy it at night, but was joy 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 surely was coming. Now I realized that no matter the pace I was going through then now. That was only a proof that the results must surely come. Now a year after I've been away as a young circle member with a project, somebody who was able to take care of himself, somebody who had to struggle to run the business. Now, a year after I've been awarded as a NASA circle member, I've been awarded as a leader with Abana that project. Now, aside that, I've also qualified for an all state trip to Ethiopia and to Zanzibar. Now, at this point in time, I've also been on a breakfast with Ambassador Ike, Ambassador Didi, and a lot of leaders who I would never believe that I would be able to suit you today. Why? Because I refused to give up, even when it wasn't working. Even when it wasn't working, but I realized that what I had to keep on pushing because I had the hard stories. Now, one of the stories that motivated me then to even keep on pushing was Ambassador Lola. When I heard that story, then I realized that I was just starting. So, whatever it takes, I'm going to make sure that I run the business. And in less than a year, in less than two years, I've been able to do what do so well for myself. And aside that, a lot of people are inspired today to run the business. Now, there are people here who they are crying in our business today because they heard my story somehow, somewhere, or something. Now, guess what? My dad, who refused. To accept me because I said to run the business. When I started making about 350k from the business, and when this alert came in January, my dad had to sign up with 15 accounts. He realized that I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in for games. So you imagine if I had quit the business at some point in time because it wasn't forthcoming. My dad would not be in the business today. If I had quit because I was lying on the floor because there was no money to feed, I had to start each one day or twice in a day. Now there's no way my dad would be in the business today. Now the only way, the only reason why my dad, my dad joined the business was when he realized that. I am succeeding. So I need you to tell that not everybody, everybody cannot be a part of your growth process. Some of them are only meant to be a part of your finished process. If I had listened to my dad, there's no way I'll be in the business today. So I realized that he was not a part of, of my 
good process at that point in time. He was only prepared for the finished version of media. Some of my friends who mocked me then because it just wasn't working. Now, the results will only come when you endure, when you endure the shame, when you endure the mockery, when you endure the test period, when you endure share questions, when you endure the actions in your business, the results will only come for those who endure. When the war started, it looked like it was foolish. And when I said business, it looked like I was, I was, I was lost shift in my family. And now many of my family members are telling me business right? because I'm succeeding from the project. So I realized that they were not meant to be part of my group process. They were only prepared for what for the finished version of where I am today. Now, when I also traveled, it is it, it got many of them on their feet to know that Lawrence is not tricking and the business has taken him so far. And I think we can also join him. Now, I think I'll be ending here with my story. Now I need to understand that it's not about whatever you are going through now. Now it is beyond just money for you to feed. Whatever you are going through now is for people. Now people's people's success is dependent on what's on your rising. Now, the ability for people to feed, feed in the next one year is dependent on your own rising. So whether the business is working for you now or not, just sit down and want and stay. Now, it's, it's not about winning, but it's about what, getting to the finish line. So whatever it takes, tell yourself what I learned or whatever your name is, I must get to the finish line. So thank you so much, Ambassador, for this opportunity. And this is what I have for us. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Wow, 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 wow. This is so awesome. Well done to those of you that stayed. Some people left. They don't have patience. They left. But those of you who have, have stayed, you can see the power. And this is, if I did some things I'm hearing, I never know that that uh, Lawrence went through all this. So, hey, Lawrence, well, uh, sorry, Jay. Imagine coming from, so not everybody's story is grace to grass. <laughs> some people are grace to grace, you know? So it was coming from a very wealthy home. So it was, his family is doing very well, you know, but he wanted something for, out of, for himself and see what happened to him. Wow, 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 wow. This is so exciting. Well done, um, um, Lawrence, thank you for sharing your, 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 your powerful story with us. This is so, so, so powerful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well done. Okay. Okay. So you already know what to do, guys. You know what to do already. We have explained everything. Just go and do what you need to do. Um, this is our challenge. I'm going to just put it last time. So you can, those of you that do not screenshot, so you can screenshot. Okay. Um, these are the activities that need to be done. And this is what we're going to give those who qualify for the challenge. So if you do not screenshot it earlier, go ahead and screenshot now. You do 36 codes, 50K, 72 codes, 100K, 108 codes, 150K, 144 codes, 200K, and finally 180 codes, 250K, okay? So that is it. So just screenshot it quickly. If you are done screenshotting, I'm sure you're done already. So that is it for now, okay? And finally, I'm gonna add, what did I say you should do? I'm just recapping those of you who were not able to screenshot. This is what I said you should do. I said, um, let me just put this so you can just click this screenshot. So screenshot this already. I'm gonna give the recording. I'll try and post the recording for us, okay? You can screenshot this quickly. If you're done screenshotting, let me know, okay? And uh, finally, another thing to do, this last one. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. Bye-bye. Every week, you're, you're going to be doing a review with your leaders concerning how many codes you generated. Obviously, you know, if you want to do 36 codes, you know that you need to do it week by week, okay? For example, if your goal is to do 36, you know that in one week, you should have done at least nine. Not that you're putting yourself on pressure, under pressure by the end of the month. One week, you should have done at least nine codes. Like I said, please make sure you don't miss cell meetings because every cell meeting this period, we're going to be talking about what you need to do and all of that, okay? All right, guys. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of the day.